Welcome to the fourth video in this series. If you've watched all four, thank you. If you're just kind of spot checking these, this is the new grad uh, portion of the nursing.com video series. I am just going to review with you the last section of the paid content on the nursing.com website. This is the new grad portion. We've already reviewed the pre-nursing, nursing student, and NCLEX prep portions of the site. This is going to be the last section, and I actually haven't looked through the section at all, so we are going to look at this together for the first time. I love the nursing.com content so much that I'm sure this is going to be more of the same great stuff for you. Once you've graduated, this is what you're going to get. Um, so this is the dashboard. This is kind of common among all of the, the um, sections. We've got just a continuation of the content that we've been watching. I'm not really sure how this would look if you don't have all four sections in the bundle, um, but this is just kind of like more of what I've been watching from the NCLEX prep. And then we continue to have our nursing practice questions, question of the day that we've got here. Let's just look at this question real quick for funsies. A client is scheduled for an esophagogastroduodenoscopy or an EGD. The client asks the nurse what structures they'll be looking at during that procedure. Which responses by the nurse would be most appropriate? Select all that apply. So let's break this down real quick. Esophagus. So we're looking at the esophagus gastro so we're looking at the stomach duodeno so we're looking at the duodenum which is right past the stomach so we're looking at the small intestine and scopy so we're that's the scope that's the camera going down so that's all we're looking at we're not looking at the large intestine, that's much further down, and we're not looking at the rectum. To scope those areas, we go up through the back door, so we're not looking at those in this scope. Um, so let's hit submit, see if we're right. We are correct. So um, it's going to give us kind of a rationale for each of these. Whenever you're doing questions, even if you get the question right, go ahead and read all the rationales. You might learn something that you didn't already know. It might just reinforce your learning. Um, it's going to tell you how other nurses did on this question. Only a little over half got this right, so good job, guys. Um, I'm a nerd, sorry. <laughs> high five in myself. <laughs> um, how would you rate the quality of this question? This is a good question. This is a really good question. One person did not like it so much. Sorry, dude. Sorry you got this wrong. Um, just like in all the other sections, you can create your own study plan. You can add and remove um, and set deadlines for your study plan. Let's just look at this real quick. You can filter your study plan by course. And there's like literally a million choices in here. You can pick HESI, T's, documentation, med surge topics. I mean, literally the list goes on and on and on. So depending on where you are in your nursing journey, you can set a study plan for just about anything. You can also go by concept. Again, long, long list of concepts that you can study. And by book. We've got, oh yes, all the beloved ATI books. We've also got the basics, Potter and Perry, Taylor, Iggy and Lewis, all the most common fundamental nursing books that cost about a million dollars a piece and weigh about a million pounds. You can also choose pre-made study plans based on, um, you know, all of these different categories. I also noticed that there's uh, John Hawes, uh, the creator of nursing.com. He has his favorite lessons in here. Let's go ahead and pick this. All selected lessons will be reset go ahead and reset it. Oh, look, John has all of his favorite lessons here. We can pick these, save the study plan. We can give it our own name, pick a date that we want to set so that we can kind of keep on a timeline. And look, it's going to give us, I've got all these that I put in here as I've been making these videos. You can make yours look a lot prettier than mine since mine are all just kind of blank and don't have any specific names. So pretty years up. It'll be much nicer. Um, let's go into courses. 
Now this is going to look a lot different. When we looked at our nursing student and NCLEX prep, we had a lot of patho, pharmacology, test taking. Now that we're actually into new grad nursing, we're looking at things like documentation, emergency nursing, career pathways, report, communication, interviews, transition to practice. We're looking at lots of different things that don't include patho anymore. We're not looking at pharmacology. You've done that. You've passed, baby. You're expected to know these things. Now we're looking at things that are going to be important to you transitioning into the workforce. So we've got all of our instructors are listed up at the top here. I just clicked on a category. So these are all of the instructors that are contributing to this section. If you were to click on one of their names, it kind of gives you an overview of who this is and all the different sections that they've contributed to. Let's, uh, let's go back to, oops, let's go back to our courses. All right, so where was I? I don't remember what I'd clicked on. I think this was it. Anyway, we've got different modules, SBAR, how to take report, how to give a perfect report plus a report sheet. Oh, I am a stickler for a good report. And I had a really good preceptor. Um, she knows who she is. She's probably not watching this, but that's okay. I am a stickler about good report. And so let's take a look at this one. I'm going to put my earbud in to make sure I'm not blasting you with crazy loud volume. So this is like an 11 and a half minute video. I'm not going to play the whole video. Let's just take a little little clip here. Give it a try. Hi, John. And I'm confident that after two or three times of using it, you will absolutely swear by this method. All right, it's let's dive in right. and let me show you how it works. All right, guys, here we are looking at our handoff report and assessment sheet. This is the sheet that I recommend that you print out about 30 minutes before the end of any shift and print out one for every patient. All right. And the reason we recommend this, guys, is because it provides you a very clear, very systems focused ability to write in everything that's going on by system for every patient so that you don't miss anything or that you don't skip over anything. The reason we use this versus like a nursing brain sheet is that the oncoming nurse does not need to know what you did on your shift or, or what was the patient looking like six hours ago, they need to know what the patient looks like now by every body system so they can start getting a picture of it and go in and take care of the patient. Mm -hmm. Okay, so everybody's got a different brain sheet. You're going to, you know, by specialty, by hospital, my brain sheet follows EPIC, which is the charting system that we use, and I give report. It's true. What does your patient look like right now? Nurse coming on doesn't care what they look like 12 hours ago, six hours ago. They want to know what does that assessment look like now. In any case, we're not going to watch this whole video, but this is a great thing to know as a new nurse. And then you've got the actual cheat sheet here. So you can download this, um, print it out, make copies. Um, this is like an actual thing that you can not just have like, oh, we talked about. Like this is something you can actually take into your practice. Um, yeah, this is great. I think this is great content. Um, we've got interviews and resumes. Okay. So we've got career prep, portfolio, resume, cover letter, applying for jobs, interviewing with a manager. I mean, how many nursing schools talk about this stuff? Maybe some do. My nursing school did not talk about how to do an interview. And furthermore, I was working as a CNA when I got my nursing job. So I got hired onto the unit I was already working. So when I did my, my, my interview, I interviewed with somebody who already knew me. So it didn't really feel like the kind of interview where you're walking into a hospital where nobody knows you, your manager doesn't know you, it's a fresh interview. So when I move on to whatever my next job is going to be, I'm probably going to feel like a new grad all over again because I've never interviewed with somebody who's never met me before. So this is content that even feels relevant to me. Networking, introducing yourself, finding those jobs. This is all information that's great. You even have reference links so that you can actually like look at an actual nursing journal talking about these topics. So this isn't just limited to like what John and his um, his associates feel. Like this is actual industry information that's helpful to you. 
And these videos all have transcripts so that if you're somewhere where you like don't have your earbuds, you can't have your audio on, you can still gather the content of uh, the video from the transcripts. So you've got all of this content. You've got six lessons here, 20. Nursing clinical, you've got 153 lessons here. We got to look at this one real quick before we wrap this up. Images, Picmonic, Mnemonics, 3D Anatomy. Okay, we've got to look at the 3D Anatomy because I'm really intrigued by what is included in here. So let's scroll down and find some 3D Anatomy in here. If you've watched some of the other videos, you know what the 3D Anatomy is, but oh, so maybe it's some of the IV stuff. Catheter, securing an IV. Come on, show me, show me some. Where is it? See, under each one, it tells you you've got cheat sheets, nursing skills, bed bath, images. I'm looking for those um, 3D. Here we go. One 3D anatomy. All right, so nursing care plan for angina, unstable angina. Okay, here we go, 3D anatomy. Nice. All right, so how do I... Here, let me get my mouse, because I'm on a trackpad. Hold on a second, guys. Let me move some stuff around on my desk. See if I can get this to... old lady using a computer. I guess I'm not that old. Oh, look, we can see an occluded artery here. Left atrium, pulmonary trunk, aorta. We've got the right ventricle. I'm trying to like orient the body. I'm trying to like turn it. Fade this. Oh, nice. Okay, here we go. Undo right ventricle, left ventricle. You can isolate it. Oh, cool. I'm just clicking stuff here. Fly to, I don't know what that means. <laughs> you guys get the bonus of watching me try to learn how to use all this stuff. Um, okay, we're gonna hide this. Oh, where, where did it all go? Here, let's undo, undo, cool, okay got this partially occluded artery. Wow, this is just like riveting for you guys. Left auricle. Okay, so chest comfort, stable, atherosclerosis. Oh my God, I can't say that word. Anyway, you guys get the picture. Oh, there, that's how I wanted to do it. All right, you got to hold down. So you can really, you get a whole 360 view of the heart. You can zoom out. You can see the entire system. You can see the descending and ascending aorta here. Nice. This is really cool, you guys. I'm still struggling to use this. Okay. Right atrium, right auricle, right ventricle, left ventricle. Yeah, so this is this is pretty cool. You've got all of this built into this one platform. You've got your cheat sheet. Sorry, I spent so much time trying to figure out how to move around that heart. Um, as you guys are screaming at the computer, hold your button down. Um, this is going to take a minute to download. So yeah, look, we've got all these cheat sheets, stable, unstable, variant assessment, diagnosis, intervention. Put these on a tablet, refer to them at the nurse's station. You're about to get an admission. Oh my God, I don't remember. I don't remember this patho from school. You're a new grad. 
you want to look this stuff up real quick, you can either Google it, probably not the best, or you can be like, oh yeah, hey, I still have access to this. Let me just real quick pull this up on my tablet. I have a whole set of cheat sheets. You can look this up. You've already got some reference material to look at. I do it all the time. Um, you know, I have badge cards. I have cheat sheets. I have like, oh here, I can even show you. This isn't NRSNG material, but like all of these are just my like cardiac meds and um, EKG rhythms. I keep all this stuff with me because even though I've been a nurse for five years, you're never going to remember everything. Use your resources. And this is one of the best ones you can get. So, um, yeah, this is, uh, the overview of the courses. And then again, you've just got another page here. You've got, um, all the cheat sheets kind of in one place. Again, if you get the bundle, you've kind of got them all kind of gathered here. You can select your categories. And I don't know how this is going to look if you only have like one of the sections as opposed to the whole bundle. But look at this. You have lab values, evaluation cheat sheet, a lab booklet, lab value worksheet. Like, guys, why would you not want this? There's so much here. I don't know what other uh, platforms look like, but there is so much here. Um, I'm getting a little animated because I'm so excited about all of this. Why did this not exist when I was in nursing school? Um, I love nursing.com. I'm not saying this because I'm an affiliate. I'm an affiliate because I love this content so much. So um, yeah, I'm going to stop gushing. You've already seen everything that this site has to offer. Um, all that's left now is for you to go get it. <laughs> I think it's well worth the money. Um, I have my affiliate links listed all over the place here in the description below on the screen. I would love for you to tell them that I sent you. I'm a brand new affiliate just trying to get my feet wet and um, tell them Nursing Uncensored sent you. Thank you very much for your support and there's just a little bit more at the end of this video um please go ahead and uh, get on it when you are ready to sign up you can go to my personal link which is bit.ly slash nu sent me you can click the link in the box below and get signed up right away you're not going to regret it and if anything you are going to do so much better in school your NCLEX, whatever it is you set out to do. So thanks for listening and happy nursing, everybody.